Welcome back to Healthy Communities News. I'm Hilary Russo. These days, we're all thinking about ways to stay healthy. But there's one aspect of health that's often overlooked, good nutrition. In Boston, Community Servings has been preaching the gospel that food heals for more than three decades. What started out as a program to feed a small group of AIDS patients has turned into a community hub that provides thousands of meals each month and so much more. We provide home-delivered, medically-tailored meals to individuals and their families affected by critical and chronic illness. It's all fresh produce, fresh ingredients, with great respect for what they produce. Sick people have no appetite. So if you bring them institutional food, they're not going to eat it. So to get them to eat, we have to really focus on what makes beautiful food. The majority of clients we serve have multiple diagnoses, and this makes nutrition even more important. And we're not just feeding the sick client, we're providing healthy, nutritious foods to the entire family. I'm convinced that good nutrition has one of the things that uh, has kept me healthy for the past 40 years being infected with HIV. The heart of the operation is, of course, the kitchen. It's staffed by professional chefs and a host of volunteers. Our meals have a demonstrated impact in improving our clients' health and reducing the number of times they have to go into the hospital or the emergency room. The work of community servings doesn't stop with providing meals. Also working with multiple local farm partners to strengthen the farm to institution pipeline. We created a job training program for people facing barriers to employment where we would teach them how to work in the food industry. And while they were learning, they would help us make meals. There are people newly out of prison, mental health programs, people coming out of addiction, homeless. So it's a wonderful way for us to leverage our kitchen in as many different social justice directions as possible. The pandemic has increased demand and CVS Health has stepped up to help. They made a significant investment in our ability to expand our medically tailored meal program across Massachusetts. Suddenly there was a huge drop off in people who were available to volunteer. And at the same time, demand went up. We hired a temporary workforce of kitchen staff and delivery drivers. We turned to our graduates. Some had been laid off or they worked for small businesses that had to temporarily close. I just lost my job or was out of work. I graduated from the teaching kitchen program in 2011. Community servants called me and asked me about an opportunity to go back. They're helping people again in so many ways. Returning teaching kitchen graduates were joined by a small group of key volunteers. And there was a real sense of, okay, now, now we roll up our sleeves. We knew there were a lot of people who maybe wouldn't qualify for our program because they weren't sick themselves. They were just food insecure or at risk of hunger. So we went to the mayor's team here in Boston and said, we could provide you with additional meals if you know where they're, they're most needed. Community Servings distributed 30,000 meals to charitable groups across Boston. This was all made possible by a new larger facility they just opened in December. That new facility allows us to do the social distancing we need but also to significantly ramp up how many people we were feeding. We've grown 50% in only three months. That's the kind of growth we expected to see over three to five years. The need for good nutrition will continue even after the pandemic, and the team at Community Servings will be there. I'm in, in a state of gratitude with regards to the, the wonderful meals that I get from Community Servings. It's the community serving the community. 
we can accomplish so much together.